what is up what is up what is up guys it is rudy henderson back with another jag gaming comic and movie news video for you this time we're going to be heavy on the comics we're going to be doing a three jokers review that is a dc black label property it is something that us in the dc community as fans have been excited about for about five years now this was something that was teased all the way back in rebirth number one when DC rebooted the DC universe and we found out that there was three Jokers or that the Bat computer was saying that there was three Jokers and there was a reason or a way that they had to get down to the bottom of it. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through this comic. This is going to be a spoilers review. This is book number one, I believe, of three. It's a mini series. They're a little bit longer than what you would have in like a regular basic comic book. So that is the the give and take there it's going to be written by jeff johns big guy over at dc has a hand in a lot of things writes a lot of things for dc especially the batman content so i'm ready to get into this basically i'm gonna put up the image here now of the the page in rebirth where they reference the first three jokers thing and we're gonna get this kicked off so this book starts with us seeing Batman go back to the Batcave. He's being tended to by Alfred and they're showing all the scars all over his body and all the encounters he had with all his rogues gallery of villains and how he got every scar. And he had three separate scars from Jokers. One from a poison, not poisonous, a venomous uh, flower that was on the Joker's like, lapel. One from a card slice and one from being like stabbed or poked in the neck. And I believe this is foreshadowing, talking about the three separate Jokers and that, that these were three separate Jokers that did this to him. After looking at Bruce and the things that he went through with the Joker, we cut over to Barbara. When we cut to Barbara, she's in the shower. It's showing her encounter with the Joker from The Killing Joke, where she opened up the door and he shot her in cold blood, making her immobile, thus turning her into Oracle. In this version, she is not immobile. She is still Batgirl, but she did get shot then the final one that we go to is jason todd jason todd's fighting these guys in a cemetery trying to figure out where the joker is because with each of these three characters while you're looking at their their wounds you're getting little background stuff from like the news or the radio saying the joker has committed a crime the first one was he knocked off some famous mob family the second crime was that he killed some comedian uh, and was live streaming it. And this third crime was that he had killed people at Ace Chemicals, where, which most of us DC fans know, that's where the Joker was born. Do not know who he is, but we know that's where he was born. And Jason Todd is trying to figure out where the Joker is. Cut back to Batman, Barbara, Jim Gordon. Everyone's trying to figure out who the real Joker is, if he's using decoys, if he uses Joker gas or some sort of acid to turn people into lookalikes to create this three jokers facade batman not saying anything though batman is sort of leaving it at um i don't know <laughs> this all seems like it could be the joker but you know we'll see where that goes the book trails off and it shows them transporting one of the people to the hospital one of the guys ends up being alive awake they're like okay we're gonna go get him fixed up see if he can give us any information then in true Jason Todd fashion, this man is disguised as one of like the paramedics in the ambulance and tries to choke the answers out of this guy that they are supposed to be helping. This is not the first time that Jason Todd has blown an operation or been the rash one. <laughs> But I just think that this was more insight into Jason Todd's character, more insight into Jason Todd being impatient and just not being able to handle certain situations without anger taking over. And a lot of that was caused by the Joker. Batman and, uh, Batman and Batgirl were able to stop Red Hood or Jason Todd from choking this band. They decided, you know what? We're just gonna get him back to the back cave, get him to the hospital and get ready to get him fixed up and everything. We cut away from this to go see an Ace Chemicals truck has been stolen 
by the three jokers is being driven off to some cabin in the woods i say that not ironically i do know that's a movie you get to the cabin in the woods and it seems as though the two jokers one of which being referred to as the criminal and one of which being referred to as the comedian are technically i say technically because something is mentioned about it technically working under the joker that is considered the clown now my theory about this is that these are three jokers from three different time eras from the way that it's made to look the criminal joker was the very early iteration of the joker whereas the comedian joker was the version of the joker that shot barbara whereas the clown is the joker that we got that killed jason todd and is the current version that we get depictions of today so they're working under the clown joker and he's setting something up he's saying that one of you has to basically go cause a diversion the other one would be coming with him so they do like a flip the coin heads or tails they both guess heads it is heads he says you know what you criminal you go cause the distraction you comedian you're with me so batman batgirl and red hood are on their way to the gotham aquarium and they go in the aquarium and the water starts turning green and Joker started leaking some of this gas and some of those ace chemicals chemicals into the water at the aquarium and has turned the fish to Joker fish. I know that sounds hilarious, but it, we are dealing with the Joker. He has a Joker fish and he has a smiling shark. So they're looking at this. They turn around ambush, of course, in any sort of superhero property. There's going to be an ambush if there's just a building that no one's going into. So you get an ambush. They're getting ambushed by a bunch of Joker goons and a guy named Gaggy. Now, the Gaggy thing is important because here's your didn't know this fact of the day. Gaggy is one of Joker's like original henchmen or like sidekicks, really short guy. He used to be in Joker material way in the back. And that's what leads me to the theory that I had. And I'll get back to that later. So the Bat family's fighting these Joker goons and Gaggy. They're really trying to get on Jason Todd. Jason Todd shoots out the glass and Gaggy's eaten by a smiling shark. I can't make that up. I'm putting this stuff on the screen, by the way. But Gaggy's eaten by a smiling shark. The criminal Joker shows up, tries to throw fish in Jason Todd's face. Batman ends up socking him one good one and they're able to tie him up for questioning. Batman says, hey, there's two other Jokers on the loose. Jim Gordon gets in contact with him. He says, I'm going to go ahead and leave. Barbara, you and Jason, watch over this Joker. See if you can get any sort of intel, any idea of what he's doing, anything like that. The Joker wakes up and immediately starts playing mind games with Jason. And he's reminding Jason of how he viciously was beaten with a crowbar and was just pounding away at Jason with his crowbar. And he, he tells Jason... You know, let me remind you of what you told me when you were in the ground and I was about to bury you alive. And Jason basically begged him for his life and said, look, I can be your Robin. And Joker was like, you know, turns out that's sort of true. All you do is give bad Batman a bad name and cause uh, and cause sort of chaos or a really big headache. You really turned out being my Robin. And that was the trigger, I guess, the straw that broke the camel's back for Jason because he literally pulls out his pistol, bow, blows the Joker's head out. One of three Jokers dies in issue one. And that is where it ends. Finishes right there. So as, the, <laughs> as a short recap to this, we found out that there are three Jokers committing three separate crimes at the same time. The three of them do exist because they were standing in a room together in, in one of the panels uh, that I showed in here earlier. They're trying to pull off something. We don't know what that is yet. They're trying to pull off some sort of heist, something like that. And Jason Todd just killed one of them in cold blood. Um, him and Barbara had a very interesting moment here there at the end where she said, you know, that's not like what we do. We don't kill. And Jason was just like, I mean, you want him just as dead as I did, because when have you ever missed? Because when Jason was going to go shoot the Joker, Barbara threw a battering at him and missed. And Jason was basically saying, look, if you didn't want me to kill that guy, you would have stopped me. So Barbara leaves. Jason's in the room. He's basically like, uh, I hope that was the right Joker. And that's where we we get our ending to part one part two will be coming out later this week i'm gonna read that and get that out to you guys all in all i'm very very pleased with what i was able to read there's a lot of intrigue um 
you really, really want to know what's going on, what this Joker's plan is, what all the Joker's plan, plans are, or at least the two that are left. If these are actual iterations of the Joker, if these are Jokers from different time eras, if these are three different versions of the same guy, because you know DC plays around with multiverses, there's lots of different opinions and, and theories that I could throw around for that. But I would say that this was a very solid issue. Uh, it was a little bit slower in the beginning. You have to get some background down and have to sort of get people into the comic itself before you can really get going. But I really loved where this comic was heading from the middle through the end. Um, ranking and reviews wise, I would probably give it like an eight and a half out of ten. It's not the best thing that I've ever read, but it, it was really, really great. And I think it was a good start to this series. Um, whether you cop this or leave it on the shelf, I would definitely say cop it, at least for the value that it may hold in the future. This is a part of like this and Joker War and some of the other stuff they're doing are a part of this big push that DC is doing to see like what the identity of the Joker might be or just giving you more info on the Joker or ending the Joker versus Batman dynamic. They're, they're trying to do a lot with this. And I think that if you were to collect these three issues that are going to come out along with the five or six part joker war which i'll be doing a review of on the channel as well and that you might have some value going forward in a few years either way that's about all i can tell you about this comic i hope that all the panels that i put in here were good enough to depict i hope i did a good job of explaining everything to you guys leave some comments in the comment section below let me know if you want to continue hearing about some of these comic book things if you have any questions about the material anything like that remember to subscribe to the channel like the video and ring the bell to know when i have more content coming out and as always guys remember keep it sexy